Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I made some money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We've got uh, three games on the slate for uh, August 20th, 2024. I'm going to hop right in. Uh, Satu Sabli. Probably butchered that name, but it's all right. It's uh, her second game back. She was injured. She played during the Olympics. Uh, did really well. Went over all them stats last time. She was averaging about three threes a game. We played her points and her threes last game. She had one game back. You can see it here. Cashed her points uh, and her threes. I knew they would bring her her point her points line back up. They brought it up to like eighteen. So I'm gonna lay off it. Uh, decided to play her threes. Keep it with that. As long as they got it at one and a half, I'll play it. Uh, minus one twelve, FanDuel. She had three last game. Uh, fifty percent, three for six. Plenty of minutes back on regular minutes, almost thirty six. It's playing the Liberty. A lot of teams that play the Liberty are better teams, especially Liberty. And uh, at the Liberty S Stadium, they play better. They got the big lights on them. Big crowds, they like to perform. And she could play. I'm not saying she's not going to reach her points. I just think this is the safer bet. So I'm going to rock with it. Savvily point. Uh, threes over one and a half. Let's get it. All right, numero dos. Going back to Mabry, three pointers over two and a half, plus 116. FanDuel missed this last game. Uh, second or third game, she's back with uh, Connecticut Suns. She only hit two, uh, put up plenty of shots, though. Uh,. Put up 10 shots, so they let her shoot the ball. She'd shoot the ball regardless. She averages around seven threes attempts. But uh, for the year, 34%. I'll break it down to the last five games. It's going to get a lot better than that. 47%. Uh, playing Los Angeles. Spreads a little big, but... Uh, They got a point line at like 14. I just think is she going to hit a point line, which I've played before too, but I'm laying off at this time. Is she going to hit a point line? She's going to hit her threes. Los Angeles is ranked ninth and three points allowed to the guard position is still ranked ninth. Uh, you know, she brought to Connecticut to distribute, to shoot. They needed that extra person shooting them threes. Uh, I believe she's going to bounce back and, and hit it. I also played her assists. You know, she's a baller. She she can shoot. She can, she can dribble. She distributes. She rebounds. You know, for PR, if they weren't playing Los Angeles, I don't know. I like her PRA too, but I laid off it because she does all them things. I played her assists over three and a half. I played this forever. As long as it's at three and a half, I'm playing it forever. Break it down to the year. She hit this five out of five. Another all the green. I played this forever. As long as they give it at three and a half, I'll play it. Played it all these. Then they brought it up to somewhere around here. They brought it up to uh, four and a half. And I laid off it, but anytime it's at three and a half, I'm playing it. Minus 150. Uh, my betting size ain't that big, but if it was, I'd drop it on this. 
Just make sure you stay consistent. Don't hold to your betting size all the time. Keep your unit size the same. That's a unit size, the amount you bet. Keep it the same. When there's a draw, you keep it the same. If you want, at the end of the month, reassess it, change it. But uh, that's how you get longevity in this game of sports betting. But yeah, Los Angeles ranked 10th overall in assists allowed to the guard that ranked 9th. Be easy cash. Get that money. Marina Mabry playing at threes, I believe in her. Over two and a half. A little plus money. And her assists over three and a half. Cash them. All right, next up, going Derricka Hamby. Rebounds over eight and a half. It's normally nine and a half ish, ten, ten and a half. Uh, minus one fourteen FanDuel. They brought it down because playing Connecticut. Connecticut's ranked first in rebounds allowed. Uh, to the center position, they're ranked tenth. To the forward, they stay first. Hamby basically, she's a forward, but she plays center. Um, 74% hit rate for the year. 20 out of 27 games, she's gone over this number. Who she? Who didn't she? Minnesota. She didn't go over it. Dallas. Phoenix. Those teams aren't even good rebounding teams. Liberty, Liberty's all right, but uh, they're on th the third game in four, uh, three games in four nights. They're gonna be tired, and uh, there's gonna be some missed shots. You know, she grab a couple of O's and, and defensive rebounds. Not too many offensive. Saying here about two a game. But she's averaging 10 for the year. She's averaging 10 rebounds a game. So, fuck it, eight and a half. It wasn't nine and a half when it opened up and dropped down. Opened at eight and a half, went to nine and a half, came back down to eight and a half. I'm taking it. Eight and a half, jumping on it. Let's get it. Jerrica Hamby, rebounds. Cha-ching. All right, Rakia Jackson, points over 12 and a half, minus 118. FanDuel, uh, if you've been watching, you already know. But uh, most of these Reds here, I mean, she's a first year rookie. You see her minutes are way down most of the three quarters of the year. Or her minutes up, she started playing better. Sharp into the last 10. Started playing better and uh, gaining more confidence. Hit this 8 out of the last 10. I laid off her yesterday. I should have played a, played a rebound. She cashed him. But uh, I've been cashing her for a while. We missed this day. But played her all these days with cash her. As long as they're keeping it around this 11 and a half, 12 and a half, I'm going to play it. Uh, certain days I do lay off it. I wish I didn't lay off it yesterday. It would have cashed it, obviously. She don't get many more. 13, 15 points. Uh, playing Liberty. Uh, Connecticut, sorry. Connecticut's got a good defense. But uh, someone's going to need to do the scoring. Hamby hasn't been scoring that well lately. Her points line is down. Uh, it's down on her points. But uh, I believe in Rakia. She's doing real well. Field goals, she's shooting 46%. Last game, she shot 64. Game before that, 56, 46. But... Uh, Yeah, they played three games since they came back and shooting. Two of them were over 50%, and one of them was just under it. Uh, here's a little bit of threes, nothing crazy. We won a game. She hits a – it's not a great foul shooter. She 
but I still hit him. One out of two. Four out of six, but she don't get that many. But eight out of ten, uh, until she proves me wrong, I'm a rock with her. But Key Jackson, points over 12 and a half. Was key. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. New viewers, please subscribe. Everyone turn on your notifications where you get my plays, my live bets. Uh, any info I give, I try to be as transparent as possible so you get exactly what I'm doing. Uh, also, if you could comment, likes and comments help get the videos out there as well as gives me feedback, a little interaction. Uh, you like something, you don't like something, you cashed it. Uh, shout out to BK. He's been commenting, committing sportsbook robbery. You already know. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Stephanie Dolson, three-pointers over one and a half. Uh, she got the opportunity to go off some games. I believe last game she hit five or six. Yeah, she hit six. First game back, she hit two. Uh, let's see what she shot. Two for five, 40%. Six for six. 100%. She can shoot. She's a center. Big girl. Been in the year for a couple of uh, a while now, actually. But uh, she can shoot that three. Uh, playing Seattle. Washington got a few players back. Uh, Shakira Austin. They got uh, Sykes back, which maybe Sykes will go off. Uh, I'm going to off her until she does. Probably will be the game that Sykes goes off, beats her point line. You got it like 11 and a half. But uh, Austin's good, too. She's a good rebounder. Uh, she could possibly go over her points. Got it like 12, 14, something like that. Uh, I just think Dol Dolson's minutes are going down since they came back. Well, since Austin came back. But Austin might not play. She had hip surgery. But... Uh, I think she's going to play, which means Dolson's uh, minutes will go down a little bit. I'm crazy, like 25 she'll play. Um, I just think two threes is not enough. And after that killer game she had, yeah, 25 minutes, 21 minutes since uh, – Austin came back. But the way she shot the ball uh, yesterday, two days ago, what was it, the 17th? Two days ago, she's going to hit two. She got that confidence, and she could really shoot it. So uh, I'm going to rock with it. Stephanie Dolson over one and a half threes, minus 130 Fanduel. Diggin Smith points 14 over 14 and a half minus 104 FanDuel. Um, since the break, she cleared this twice 29 the first game, 15 versus Indiana. Uh, lost both of them actually. Playing Washington, Washington's eighth in points allowed. The guard position, they ranked 10th. Uh, she plays plenty of minutes. Last 10 games, shooting 41%. It's money from the foul line. Head-to-head. Uh, -head. Smoked this twice this year, I think. Yeah, this is 18 and 16. It's definitely, uh, you know, a veteran player. Got experience. Excuse me. If I break it down to the year, you can see she gets. I'm hoping she gets on her hot streak like she was over here. It just keeps going. You know, she had a rough patch. That's how I noticed that with all the, all the players that they have like a good week or two where where they just fall off. They just got something to be having to do with being a female. You know, 
time of the month or something. I don't know. But uh, hoping she picks it back up and keeps it going. Got this other site that shows shot charts and stuff and comparisons. You can see where she shoots it 45% from inside, 20, 11, 24. And it shows where they play the defense. But uh, if you look to the right here, people that play like her in her position basically tells you what they've done. Hit rate is 60%. They've gone over their points. 8% point difference. Uh, and then this one is actually people that play like her. And they've all gone over. So I'm going to rock with it. Lean with it, rock with it. All right, so it's a lot of plays. I know a lot of games going on. Uh, it took me a while to try to figure them out, but uh, I think I got some good ones. Dropped two videos yesterday, Sunday. First video uh, didn't do too well. Uh, I think we went one for four or some shit. Uh, foul trouble happened, a couple other things, you know, just sports band stuff, sports playing. Then I made a second video for the two night games. I didn't realize they were there. And we went for 4-0, four, four oh, catch them all. But uh, whether we win or lose, just keep in mind, you try to treat every day as it's the same. Don't adjust the amount you're betting. Uh, you know, try not to tilt. And, or or even uh, the opposite of tilt, and you win. So you start betting more and doing things like that. You just try to stay the same, level-headed the whole time, keep control of your emotions, bet the right way. And, uh, you know, sports betting is a marathon. It's not a sprint. But I uh, appreciate everyone. Let's get that money. Ace money to name, getting paper to game. Let's go. Like, subscribe, comment.